Ilen Silla Lumen Omen Tielvo. Today I bring to you all the legend of Arathorn II, father of Aragorn. Arathorn was born in 2873 of the Third Age to Arador, the heir of the House of Elendil and the next chieftain of the Dunedain. Like all the heirs before him since the fall of Arnor, Arathorn was raised in Rivendell for the safety of the heirs of Elendil was too important. While Arathorn lived in Rivendell, he learned the elvish tongues, as well as the histories of Numenor and Arnor, for unlike his future son Aragorn, Arathorn's lineage and the importance of that lineage was not kept secret from him. When Arathorn was likely twenty-four years of age, the Dunedain age of full manhood, he would have left his fostering in Rivendell and left for the wild to live with his people, if he had not done so already by that point in time. In 2911, during the fell winter, white wolves invaded the Shire, and seeing how any foe was opposed by the Dunedain, it is likely that the wolves did encounter the rangers. As the years went by, Eriador became more and more dangerous, and the Dunedain faced more and more perils in the wild. In the Third Age year of 2929, Arathorn sought the hand of Gildrine, though Gildrine's father, Deerhile, opposed the union, for Gildrine was only 22, younger than the customary age of marriage. Deerhile, gifted with foresight, saw Arathorn would not live long. Gildrine's mother, Evorwin, also gifted with foresight, foresaw the child of Arathorn would be the greatest hope of the Dunedain, and that Arathorn's short life should be all the more reason for Gilrine to marry him. Deerhile relented, and that year Arathorn married Gilrine. This happy time for Arathorn was cut short, for the next year, 2930, Arador would be killed by hill trolls who attacked his home in the Trollshaws. Arathorn would then be made the 15th chieftain of the Dunedain. Hope would come to the Dunedain, for the next year Gilrine gave birth to a son, whom they named Aragorn. Thus, Evorwin's prophecy was fulfilled, and hope would continue, but Deerhile's prophecy would soon come to fruition. In 2933, when Aragorn was just two years old, Orc bands would become more and more common in Eriador. So Arathorn, together with Eladon and Elrohir, the sons of Elrond, went forth to hunt. Arathorn would find the orcs, and during the attack, Arathorn would receive an arrow to his eye, killing him instantly. Because of Arathorn's sudden demise, Aragorn was taken to Rivendell, and his lineage would be kept hidden from him. In 3019, Aragorn would fulfill the destiny of the House of Isildur by becoming king of a reunited Gondor and Arnor. And so ends the legend of Arathorn. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. And please let me know how I can better improve these videos. Thanks, and as the elves say, Namarie.